non-dualism, often denoted with the Sanskrit terms Advaita or Advaya, is a metaphysical concept that literally means not to. It is both an ontological claim about the nature of reality and a description of the mystical experience. In all of the world's philosophical traditions, speculations about the nature of reality are pervasive. One of the recurring questions is, how many things are there really? The concepts of monism, dualism, and non-dualism are ways in which philosophers have attempted to respond to this question. Monism either declares that everything is one and that difference is, in some sense, not real, or it declares that difference is real, but it is ultimately made of just one thing or substance. Much New Age discourse, rooted in the idea that everything is one, is an example of monism. Perhaps somewhat ironically, many modern scientists also hold a monistic view of the universe, claiming that matter is the only real substance, and everything that seems different from matter, like human consciousness, is ultimately reducible to material interactions in the brain. Conversely, dualism posits that there are in fact two things that are substantially different and ultimately real. In the Western philosophical tradition, the most famous dualist was René Descartes, who argued that two things, res cogitans and res extensa, or thought and extension, are ultimately incommensurable ontological principles. Non-dualism can be seen as striking an interesting balance between the two perspectives of monism and dualism, because it isn't saying that there is one thing or two things, it is saying that there are not two things, or that reality is other than two. In the tantric traditions comprising what is commonly referred to as Kashmir Shaivism, non-dualism is captured in images of Shiva and Shakti, who are often copulating as a way of expressing their ontological entanglement. In these traditions, Shiva and Shakti are consciousness and energy, two things that interact to create every expression of life as we know it, but which are, in the final instance, non-separate from one another. You cannot have Shiva without Shakti. In some contemplative traditions, the goal of meditative practice is to ultimately steep oneself in a space beyond or below language, a space we might refer to as non-dual, because while immersed in this silent space, the subject, the object, and the means of knowledge collapse into an experience of pulsating aliveness not conditioned by the affairs of the world. When we come out of meditation, we take a little bit of that nourishing wisdom with us, hopefully integrating it into our waking life, our commitments, and our relationships.